Hello everyone and welcome back to Learning English Pro. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of basic chemistry. Chemistry is all around us, from the air we breathe to the water we drink. So let's get started and explore some essential chemistry vocabulary. Make sure to check out the complete word list and definitions in the description of the video. So if you're ready, let's jump right in. And our first word is atom. An atom is the smallest unit of matter. It's made up of a nucleus, which contains protons and neutrons, and they're surrounded by electrons. Moving on to element. An element is a substance that consists of only one type of atom. Examples include hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon. Now let's explore the periodic table. This is a tabular arrangement of all known elements, organized by their atomic number and properties. Next we have compound. A compound is formed when two or more different elements chemically combine in a fixed ratio. Water, or H2O, is a well-known compound. Molecule is our next term. A molecule is a group of atoms bonded together. Oxygen gas, O2, and glucose, C6H1206, are examples of molecules. Moving on to chemical reaction. A chemical reaction occurs when substances interact to form new substances with different properties. Think of burning wood to produce heat and ash. pH measures the acidity and alkalinity of a solution. It's a scale ranging from 0 to 14 where 7 is neutral, lower values are acidic and higher values are alkaline. Catalyst is another good term to know. A catalyst is a substance that speeds up a chemical reaction without being consumed itself. Next up is ion. An ion is an atom or molecule that has gained or lost electrons, resulting in a net electric charge. Chemical bond refers to the force that holds atoms together in a molecule. Covalent bonds involve the sharing of electrons, where ionic bonds involve transfer. A reactant is a substance that participates in a chemical reaction and is transformed into a product. So a product is the result of a chemical reaction. It's the new substance formed from the reactants. A solvent is a liquid in which substances can be dissolved to form a solution. Water is a good example of a universal solvent. Concentration refers to the amount of a substance present in a given volume. It's usually expressed as moles per litre. Our final term is exothermic. An exothermic reaction releases heat energy to its surroundings, often resulting in a temperature increase. And there you have it, a solid foundation of basic chemistry vocabulary to kickstart your journey into understanding the wonderful world of science. Remember, chemistry is everywhere, and these terms will help you decode the mysteries of the elements and compounds around us. If you're interested in learning more vocabulary relating to science, check out the videos on screen now. And if you've enjoyed this video, why not subscribe to my channel? So stay curious and keep exploring. And remember, keep learning English like a pro.